it's from my fingers to that amp and coming out, and that's it. I don't really overthink it. I'm just trying to close my eyes and listen to, does that sound like home? This is Lucas Nelson. I'm here at the Magnetone factory in St. Louis. Just here to kind of see how they're made and uh, happy to be here. Well, most tone is in your fingers, ultimately, as Billy would say and Neil would say. Any one of those guys can play any amp and it'll sound like them because it's how they play it. But you have to have a good vehicle and a good uh, conduit for that signal. When I get a tone, I sit down and I close my eyes and I just listen to what feels right to me. And it's not digitizing it at all. It's not ones and zeros. It's a whole spectrum of mystery. Neil Young is all about tone. I think he's got one of the greatest tones in the history of tone. And so is Billy Gibbons. And when both of those guys are saying, this is the shit, then I tend to agree with them. Hendrix used that tremolo a lot in some of his later work with the Band of Gypsies and when he was in Hawaii. And so that makes me feel home in that way. But then Neil has that down by the river sound that's just so, it's so kind of almost dry and right there in your face. And that sound makes me feel home too. So it's really, it just depends on, on, on what's happening in the room, in, you know, how I'm feeling. It speaks to the versatility of the amp. The beautiful thing about these amps, too, is that they seem to have their own character. Because they're handmade, because they're made here in the factory. And I think that's something that is unique to amps that are handmade like this, because it creates a character with each amp. And then whatever happens on the road, whatever bumps or, th you know, all these things that get, that, that inevitably will happen, you know, to me, they only make it better. We've got a good sound on stage because of the quality and the consistency of the amps. I call every It creates this unique thing that just keeps aging in a really nice way. Whereas a digital amp, they're so precise in what they do, there's no way for them to breathe. It's the difference between a human and a robot. This is exactly the setup I use. This is the mono and then the stereo twilighter. I like having two signals. It adds a lot to the sound out in front. This one helps it kind of break up because I don't like to use pedals. I just like to just get the overdrive from the amps and get, get the sound directly from the guitar to the amp as much as possible. And if I want grit, then I'll turn it up and get it a little hotter and turn my guitar down just a little. I learned that from Neil and the folks that Neil hangs with. You know, use the amps, don't use the pedals, because the, the pedals are, are, are there to recreate what a good amp sounds like, so why dilute it with that? Especially when you're on the road, I prefer not to have a bunch of things to think about when I'm playing my music. It gets quiet when it needs to be quiet, it gets loud and gritty and overdrive when it needs to be overdriven. It really feels like it follows where my heart and my mind go and that's where I want to be. There's a certain type of quality that you need in order to perform to the maximum capabilities that you have. I think it's important to have amps that can support what you do and can be versatile. Beyond that, it's about your heart and what you put into it.